Hello YouTube, DJ Zill Gage Trains. Got a few more subway sets to show you. This is going to be the last in the series for right now. Got the Lionel subway sets out. Uh, before I start talking about these, I want to show you something very quickly. Um, these, This is one of my R12 subway cars by MTH. Uh, this is a Rail King car. I've got the four car 3rd Avenue shuttle, which is uh, what you see here. And then I also have just a single power car for the uh, off-white subway set, the number one line. And then I have a single car that is a work subway car. And I'm working on uh, removing the windows that are factory installed and putting my own windows in. So I got flush fitting uh, windows in the doors and then I've got windows attached on the outside of the car uh, over here. And uh, if you look at pictures of actual R12s, the windows are on the outside of the car, and they can open and close uh, manually by hand. So I got all the windows open on this car, and uh, it'll vary from car to car. And when I'm finished with this, I'll do a review of it. Uh, the off-white R12 is finished but I'm going to be putting graffiti on it. The graffiti decals are in the mail, and I'm also going to practice weathering. That's going to be the first car that I weather is the off-white R12. So when this R12 project is finished, probably in a month or so, um, all dependent on the time I have and my work schedule and whatever else happens, uh, but when this project is finished, I'll do a video with that, uh, continuing in this uh, subway series. So back to the uh, Lionel subways. I've got a four car R16 set here. The R16s are uh, single single units, standalone units. You could see the destination board right there. And the destination board on this side. Let's focus a little better. There we go. And the uh, R30s are married pairs. You can see the blank ends here. Now, when you get this set out of the box, um, there is a slight error with uh, how the cars are configured. So, when you get it out of the box and you put it all together uh, properly and you got the tethers hooked up, um, this end of the car will not be blank. This will have the uh, destination uh, 168th Street, Jamaica on it. Um, and the same thing with the other end of the train, uh, facing toward the rear of the car, the, the uh, second to last car will have the destination board saying Coney Island. So what I did is I actually took that car down at the end that had the destination board Coney Island. Hello, there we go. And I put it here. I made it the second car instead of the fifth car. get in focus a little bit there. I'm crawling around here so uh, bear with me. And what I did is I very gently lifted the separately applied number boards uh, once I switched the cars around and I switched up the number boards. So this used to be car 8552 I believe now it's 8557 and the other car is 855 two. So if you follow what I did, I simply switch the cars and then move the numbers around to make it prototypical. Um, they are great sets. You know that you probably know this by now, but these cars have the opening doors and the lighted destination boards and the uh, lighted headlights and marker lights that change according to the direction. So if I was to reverse the train, Coney Island lights up. If I put it back, Jamaica is lit up. And the same thing here. If I hit reverse, we got tail lights here and headlights on the opposite end of the train. And if we put it back, we have headlights. So what I'm going to do now is turn it on. I'll go through a couple of stops, uh, heading up the Brighton Beach line, and then we'll turn this train on, which, and we'll hear a couple of stops heading up through Lower Manhattan. Uh, just FYI, this train does have a little bit of a uh, speed issue, a speed control issue, but I don't think it's with the speed control sensor. I think it has to do with the drag of the cars. These cars are extremely, extremely heavy, and um, these R16s needed a lot of lubricating, and uh, it runs a lot better now, but it still needs a little bit of help, and uh, I'm in the process of trying to break this set in. It's been in the box for a couple of years, other than just some light testing and light running. So, uh, you'll get to see that in a minute, but let's start out with this set. This is the QJ to 168th Street. This is the QJ to 168th Street. Next stop, West 8th Street. Please proceed to the next
Notice the difference in the interiors between an R16 and an R30. It's pretty cool that Lionel got that right.
you go. I hope you liked it. They're great sets. Uh, the EE ran pretty good. Actually ran a little bit better than it was when I was testing it before. But this is DJ's Ogay's Trains. I hope you liked all the subway sets. Um, I'll do a few more videos before I break this layout down. Um, got some freight engines and maybe some more old Pensy stuff. Uh, we'll see. But uh, take care for now. Bye-bye.